It's time to go fight Alduin. So I skipped the dialogue, and there's Alduin. I can't believe he landed right next to me. That that's a surprise. I thought it I thought it would go on a little bit longer. So I want to make sure I hit Berserker Rage. And the white file. So right now I'm thinking about, is there anything else I need to, to throw? I, I brought uh, scrolls. It's a good idea to throw a scroll of Storm Atronach. That, that's a good thing. I was thinking about using poison. And then I, then I hesitate, and I'm thinking about power of life. What I really just want to do is see if this Warhammer can do it on its own. That was a surprise. So yeah, that's a lot of damage on that Warhammer, but that was really a surprise. There you go, Alduin. I hope you enjoyed your gift from Malakath. Lasgar had dreams about Warhammers from the very beginning, and Malakath used Lasgar to save the orcs and gave Lasgar that Warhammer to get the job done. And it got the job done. I personally think that it is the best melee weapon in the game. When you have completed your count of days, I may welcome you again with glad friendship and bid you join the blessed feasting. Um, but she's an orc. She will not be back. She really isn't an orc like all the other orcs. She's different. She doesn't really fit in with the orcs. She doesn't pray to Malakath. So she's not really going to see Malakath in the afterlife. She really doesn't have a place. And, uh, but, but this is not her place. Um, this is where Nords go, and she would just as soon get out of here. She came here, she did what she had to do. She earned Malakath's favor, which she did by being brave and fighting, and uh, she's done. That's, that's it. Now, her first thought coming back here is, um, that's a lot of dragons I'm going to have to kill, because she thinks she's probably going to have to keep killing dragons. They, their numbers need to be, uh, any dragon steps out of line, she's going to have to kill it. Or, or guards, or Irolith can kill them by herself. So, but she will kill dragons if she bumps into them. But uh, what we're going to do after this is end the quest by talking to the Blades and the Greybeards. And see what this new smithing gear does. So the smithing gear will up upgrade our weapons and armor. And then we'll, s we'll see what numbers we hit. And um, we're still not done. There's still something else to do after that. That's just kind of, that is just kind of cool. You have won a mighty victory, Shahroch Kongra. One that will echo through all the ages of this world for those who have eyes to see. Savor your triumph, Dovakin. This is not the last of what you will write upon the currents of time. Goran, 
I feel younger than I have in many an age. Well, time to take screenshots. That Warhammer is very cool. I really like that Warhammer. I've never used that Warhammer before um, on a character as a primary weapon and really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed Warhammers. I'd like to try Battle Staffs. That, I think that would be cool. I can see how you could play a game with uh, just Battle Staffs and Warhammers. My favorite shout, Clear Skies. On the very few games where I get any shouts, um, that is probably the one that's always, almost always the most used shout, Clear Skies. There, that looks great. This is the last time I'll probably be here in this game. So, yeah, I like to look around from up here in my last time. I, I do something really different, probably most people don't do, is, and, and you probably think this is weird, but I'll just look around and, and spend a lot of time just enjoying the scenery. Not killing things, not doing quests, not anything, just like this, just looking around and enjoying enjoying how beautiful the game is. It's just it's just awesome to me. And I, I might spend, you know, ten minutes just, you know, hanging around up here and just looking at things. I spent way more time than that in Riverwood. So eventually uh come back home and put on the brand new smithing gear that has better enchants on it than I can make. So I like that about Requiem that it has better you get better gear than you can make yourself. And you have to get the uh, notched pickaxe. And remember we picked up four potions of the best blacksmithing level, which is 5%. Yeah, this is, uh, those are really good numbers. And here are all the numbers on all of the weapons. Those, those are really, really remarkable. Please, Delphine has been very worried about you. Please. We heard the news from Whiterun that you left the city on the back of a dragon. That's a little showy, even for you. Since you're still alive, I assume you have good news to report. Gods above, that's better news than I had hoped. When you walked into my inn that day, I never imagined where it would all lead. Dragons out of legend. Sovngarde. done it. Just as the prophecy said. I knew you could do it. I believed in you, and yet I still didn't think I'd live to see this day. Thank you. Thank you, Dragonborn. You've done a great service for us all. This wall needs something. You're there, that's good. I can see it in your eyes. You've seen the land of the gods and returned. Does this mean it is done? Is Alduin truly defeated? At last, it is over. Perhaps it was all worth it in the end. You've shown yourself mighty, both in voice and deed. In order to defeat Alduin, you have gained mastery of dreadful weapons. Now it is up to you to decide what to do with your power and skill. Will you be a hero whose name is remembered in song throughout the ages? Or will your name be a curse to future generations? 
Or will you merely fade from history, unremoved? Let the way of the voice be your guide, and the path of wisdom will be clear to you. Breath and focus, dragonborn. Your future lies before you. So you only get both dialogues if you have a mod like the Parthenax Dilemma. And uh, that finishes the main quest line. And she can relax for a moment. We have one more thing we have to do before we're done. And we have built a very powerful two-handed heavy armor orc. So we're not quite done. This is a great character. The, the main focus was get two-handed and heavy armor up, uh, get block over 75, and I really enjoyed doing that, and I really enjoyed playing this character, and probably for the first time ever, I enjoyed the main quest line. Playing a two-handed character was a lot of fun. Now to do the last thing we have to do, because we're not done yet. We can make her even stronger than she is right now.